Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at Image Tutorials, and today we're going to do an interior modeling video. Right now, I found a pretty neat picture that we can use as a reference. So I'm going to go to my uh, front view. I'm going to click on View, Image Plane, and Import Image, and I'm just going to pick up that file. Okay. So this is what we're going to aim for. Um, not necessarily 100%, but at least inspired by, if you know what I mean. Okay, so uh, let's get started with that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by uh, setting up the room. So for that, I'm going to create a polygon cube, something like that. I'm going to pull that up, and I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay, now in order to be able to still see our reference, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click, go to Face, Get rid of that one, that one, and that one for now. Okay. We're just going to get this guy, hit W, and pull it into plain view. So we got something that we can look at while modeling. Okay. And we're going to start off by creating the back wall here. All right. Now, for that, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, start with this section here. Okay. So we're going to create a polygon cube. And we're going to pull that up. We're going to push that back until we are connected with our wall. And maybe we'll just uh, hit R and bring it in just a little. Something like that. Okay. Hit W. Push it into the wall. And we're going to scale it up to the ceiling. So we need to make sure that we are not sticking underneath our floor here. So for that, I'm going to hit Insert. I'm going to pull that down, hit W, pull that up, so at least on floor level I'm good. And I'm going to hit R and I'm going to scale it up until I reach my ceiling. Now my ceiling is going to come in a little bit later, so we're okay for now with that. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to my Polygon menu. I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. And we're going to bring in an edge about there, maybe a bit higher, something like that. And we're going to hit Q on our keyboard. I'm going to right click, go to face, select that face, edit mesh, extrude. We're going to hit W and we're going to pull that out until we meet our wall, like so. And as you can see, we've got one more here. So I'm just checking the proportions here, whether that fits. We'll tweak that in a sec. We need to have one come out here as well. So edit mesh, insert edge loop. We'll do one there. Hit Q on our keyboard. Right click, go to face. Select that face, edit mesh, extrude. Hit W and pull that out. Okay. So we've got the top section there and there. This seems a little bit wide, so I'm going to right click, go to Edge, double click, actually make sure I got both of them. Hit 4, there we go. Hit 5 again. And we're going to hit W and we're going to, oh, I have to take those as well. We're going to bring that back just something like that. All right. Okay, cool. Next, we got a similar situation going on down here, the red section. Okay, so for that, what we're going to do is we're going to create an edge loop down here. So, edit mesh, insert edge loop. We'll go with something like that. Yeah, looks okay. We're going to right click, go to face. Select that face, and we'll just zoom in a little bit. And as you see, we need to bring it in a little bit. So we got our face here. Just make sure. Yeah, there we go. Edit mesh, extrude, and we're going to. Oop, it didn't take. Edit mesh, extrude. There we go. Hit R. We're gonna 
uh, actually we're going to scale that in from this end like so and then we're going to hit W and we're going to push it back which will give us something like that just so we got a little bit of uh, difference in depth okay then we are going to go to edit mesh extrude we're going to hit W and we're going to push that over all the way to this end right now we're going to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool we're going to set up one about let's say there let's see how that looks yeah maybe we can move it over just a little no, actually it's not too bad okay okay we're gonna hit Q on our keyboard right click go to face select that face edit mesh extrude hit W and pull that all the way up and uh, just to keep it clean we're gonna hit 4 so we know that we're not going way too high up just check our uh, various views here yeah I need to bring that down just a little okay it's a bit cleaner <coughs> we're not gonna see it but nevertheless okay go back to 5 shaded mode and as you can see we need one to come back in here so edit mesh insert edge loop tool go with something like that yeah looks about right <coughs> excuse me hit Q on the keyboard right click face select that face edit mesh extrude hit W pull that out let's see how far okay maybe a little bit back we'll do that something like so and now we need to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool we'll do one here hit Q on your keyboard right click face select face edit mesh extrude and hit W and pull that down something like that okay now we're gonna have um, a, a picture in here so we need to uh, adjust the scale a little bit okay because I'm not quite happy with how this is set up so far so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tweak this a little bit right click go to edge I'm gonna select these these and these that should be good let's see for some reason I still got that one selected so we'll just redo that edge these these and these that's better we'll move that over then we'll take these edges and these edges and these and let's see what happens yeah okay cool we'll do something like that and again it doesn't have to be exact as long as the uh, proportions are okay right okay next we're going to set up the shape for the painting back there so for that we're going to create a polygon cube pull it up just slightly hit F to zoom in and we're going to right click go to face select that face edit mesh extrude go to our top view hit F and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that in just slightly push that out just a little bit something like so okay and then uh, edit mesh extrude hit W and pull it in and again just slightly right we're gonna apply a uh, the painting to that so first uh, while we're at it I'm gonna right click go to object mode select that guy right click assign new material Fong E and we're gonna make that black for our frame okay and then I'm gonna right click at a face select that face and I'm gonna go to uh, assign new material 
Lambert. Okay. Click on the checkered box here. Go to File. Click on my folder. And actually, I uh, took the image of our example and I uh, used that. Uh, I saved that. So I call this red painting. Okay. So we're going to paste that in here. As you can see, we need to do some scaling. So select that face, create UVs, planar mapping. I don't know if that's the right picture angle. Uh, no, so we need to rotate that. So we're going to go to Edit UVs, UV Texture Editor. Right click, UVs, drag select that. We're going to hit E to rotate, and that uh, looks a bit better. Make sure you're nice and square. Is that our correct angle? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. So that will be our painting. We're going to right click, go to object mode, hit W, pull that up, hit E to rotate that by 90 degrees, like so. And let's start to move that into place and scale it to size. So we're going to first move that towards the wall, hit F to zoom in a little bit. So we can see how far we are off. There we go. Okay, now it needs to fit in that spacing. So we're going to hit R, we're going to scale that in. We're going to hit W, we're going to move that in. And let's stretch that up a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. And again, we're not following that exactly, but we're trying to get as close as we can, okay? Now, while we're at it, we're going to give the background some color as well, okay? So I'm just going to select that whole thing, right-click, assign the material. Uh, it's not really shiny, so let's go with the Lambert, and we're going to change that to black, all right? Then we're going to take this section here, which should be, yeah, that should be fine. And we're going to right click, assign new material, Lambert, change that to white. There we go. And then we need to get this section here. And uh, let's see how we're going to do that. We extruded everything from that. So we're going to select the faces, right click face. We're going to select these faces here. It's not too tedious, not too bad. I think we got them all. Okay. Right click, assign new material. Again, Lambert, change the color and go with red. Okay, so that's what we got so far. All right, now we're gonna focus on the uh, is that white? Yeah, okay, we're gonna focus on the couch here. So, for that, that looks pretty straightforward. We're gonna take a polygon cube, drag that out in the grid, pull that up, and although it looks extremely uh, cubic. There's always a little bit of edging to it, so right-click Edge, drag select all these edges, Edit Mesh and Bevel, and we're going to increase the segments to 4 and bring down the offset to keep it fairly square. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to do the back section for the couch. So for that, we're going to go and uh, we're going to go to our top view, edit mesh, insert edge loop. Let's do that here. Looks about right. Hit Q on your keyboard. Right click face, select that, edit mesh, extrude, hit W and pull that up. And we'll see how far 
That looks a bit much. Maybe something like that. And we'll address these edges as well. Right click, edge and edge. And we'll take these as well. Yeah, and I'll take that one. Edit mesh bevel. Bring that up to three. Let's tweak the offset a bit. Let's do that one. All right. And we need two on the side here. So for that, we're going to create a new cube. Pull that up. Right click, go to edge, drag click all the edges, edit mesh bevel, three subdivisions and bring down the offset to make it nice and square, something like so. Right click object mode. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale that in a bit. Okay, and now let's check from our top view to make this uh, fit. Hit W. Actually, not too bad. Okay. Well, how are we doing on our spacing? That looks about right. We're going to hit Control D. We're going to move that over. Let's just check our spacing. All right. From our front view, that's not too bad either. Let's see what we got. Okay, now these seem to be a bit higher, so we need to tweak that a little bit. So I'm going to hit insert key, bring that down, uh, hit the R key, bring that up, something like that, maybe a bit less. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. Hit control D, copy that over. Check our top view again, make sure that we are still okay. Yep, cool. All right, so we got that. Now there's a frame underneath apparently. So we're gonna select these. We're gonna go to mesh combine. Let's space our couch out first. So we got a sense of what we're looking at. Hit W, pull it up just a little to give us some spacing for our frame. Pull that over. Now, as you can see, it has to come down a little bit. We want to be able to see that uh, picture, all right? So we're going to move that up. And we're going to hit R, and we're going to scale that in. Maybe scale it out just a little. Maybe not. Okay. Now, all in all, this couch has to come in a little bit. So we're going to scale it in just a little. And we're going to scale it in like that just a little. Okay. Now let's apply some material to this couch. Right click. Assign the material. Lambert color black okay but we're not just going to do a black lambert what we're going to do is we're going to actually click on this here we're going to go with leather we're going to select that let's tweak our cell colors i want that to be black okay and i want this to be very close to black not 100 percent and in our render, we'll see how that works out. Okay. So I need to create some legs for our couch, some frame parts. And it it's hard to tell what they look like. But what we're going to do is we're going to take four just square legs here. Make sure they're square. So in your polygon cube... We're going to go with uh, width and depth 2 by 2 and the height, we'll tweak that on a sec, okay. So we're going to apply some chrome to that, right click object mode, we got that, right click assign new material, 
I'm going to go with an MIA material underscore X. Go to the material tab, go to presets, go to chrome and replace. Okay, and now we need to get them underneath the couch. So I'm going to go to our top view. We're going to hit W. We're going to move them over to the corner here. Hit F to zoom in. Now, obviously, they need to be scaled down quite a bit. So we're going to move them again to the corner. Let's get the spacing right. Okay, we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to pull that over. Check it from that end as well. Align it, and that looks okay. We're going to select these two. Hit Control D, pull that up. And again, check our spacing. And now we need to check the height. So we're going to drag, select these. So we got all four. We're going to bring that down. And they look pretty big, I think. So we need to scale that in a little bit. Well, actually, thickness is not too bad. We'll just adjust the height because I kind of like that. So we're going to go to this view. We're going to hit our insert key. We're going to bring the center pivot to the top there. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale them way up to something like that. Okay, that looks better. Kind of cool actually. All right. Still need to bring some stuff in here. Mesh separate. I want this and this and that to come in a little. So hit W. Looks like I selected the floor. Let's try that again. Okay, let's see if we have the same problem at the other end. Hit five. Um, it's not too bad. Okay, cool. All right. Hit that again. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we need to have this uh, carpet or whatever it is. Okay, and it seems to be aligned pretty much from the couch to over there. So we're going to create a uh, polygon cube. We're going to pull that out. We're going to drag that up to a minimum. Hit F to zoom in. R to scale that down. Make it nice and thin. And from our top view, we're going to start to move that into position. Hit W. Not quite sure. That's about it. Let's see how far behind it's going. It's hard to tell, but not too far. Okay. So we're going to do something like that. And we need to bring it back here a bit. So we're going to hit the insert key. We're going to bring that pivot point over there. We're going to hit R. And we're going to bring that back in, something like so. Now it has a red-ish color to it. So let's give it some more space here at this end. Hit W. Something like that. Okay. Right click, assign new material. Let's go with a Lambert. Change the color to red. And then let's tweak that red a little bit. Make it a bit lighter. Something like so. Okay. We got a vase going on back here. And some books. Not sure I'm going to do all the details. Let's focus on the pillows first because, uh, as far as color is concerned, that's a very important part of the total uh, scene. So, for that, 
we're going to uh, create a polygon cube like that. We're going to pull that up, something like so. All right. Then we are going to, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see how we're going to approach this. We're going to start off by right clicking, going to edge, drag select all the edges, edit mesh and bevel. Okay, something like that. Then we are going to go to top view, go to edit mesh and insert edge loop tool. And we're going to add a few, try to keep the spacing pretty much level. Okay, we're going to hit Q on our keyboard, right click, go to vertex. We're going to drag, select all except the ones on the outside, hit R, push them in just a little bit. Skip one on top, skip one on bottom. That's too much. Something like that. Select the middle two and repeat that again. Okay. Then we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We're going to do a similar thing here. Going to add some subdivision. Okay. Hit Q on your keyboard right click vertex we're gonna drag select these hit r we're gonna push that in just a little bit take these three in the middle again pull it in just a little take the one in the middle something like that let's see what we got so far all right then we are going to right click, go to face. So we've got that face that is all the way around there. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale those in a little bit and scale them out a little bit like that. Okay. Next, we are going to. Um, take these faces here and we are going to hit B for soft select hit W and we're going to pull that up I selected too much hang on control Z I look like I drag selected my faces I don't want that so Let's just reselect those. All right, hit B on your keyboard for soft select. Let's try that again. That looks better. Okay, and let's see if we can soft select this thing. So right click smooth. Yeah, I like that. So, excuse me, I didn't explain how I did that. So I'm going to go back a step. So control Z. Okay, select uh, object mode. So right click object mode, select it. Hold down your shift, right click, go down to smooth. Okay, which will give you this. All right. Um, yeah, not too bad. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate it a little bit. Something like so. And we'll probably need to scale it down quite a bit. So we're going to hit R scale it down hit w and start to move that towards the couch hit f to zoom in so we can see what we're talking about so we got four pillows and then one at each corner let's see if we can sort that out go to our front view we're gonna bring them down let's see how high up they are pretty high so we can scale them up a little actually to something like that and we'll tweak that on a sec so we've got one there control D to duplicate that one there 
Shift to D and Shift to D. So we've got our four pillows. Select all four. Kind of space them like that. Let's see if they're sitting nicely on our couch. Looks like we need to bring them forward a little bit. Okay. And now we need to have one here. So Control D. Bring that forward. Hit E, rotate that a little bit. Oh, not like that. Hang on. We need to set it up straight first. Make that 90. Okay. Now rotate it by minus 90. Okay. And now we can hit W, move it towards the couch here, and hit E to rotate it a little bit. We'll check it from this view here. I have to zoom in. W to move that in to its position. Okay. And we're going to hit Control D and move it over here. Um, rotate it back to 90. Flip it over by 90. Move it towards that end of the couch. And hit E and tilt it a little bit. Looks about right. Okay. And move that in. All right. So we've got these pillows. Now let's give them some color. They need to come in a little bit. Just push them in. Something like that. Okay. Now while I got these two, I'm going to right click, assign the material, Lambert, change that to red. That one is uh, right click, assign the material, Lambert, kind of a, actually it's pretty much that color. Just tone it down a little bit something like that. This one, right click, assign new material, Lambert. It's kind of a something like that, but a bit darker, I think. It's not too far off, actually. Let's do that. That one, right click, assign new material, Lambert. Uh, we'll go with that. Make it a bit darker. Yep. And then that one, right click, assign material, Lambert, change the color. That's going to be in this range somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can grab that color. Um, yeah, something like that. Okay. So we got our painting, we got our pillows, we got our wall section going on there. Okay. Now we got this chrome vase over here. So for that, we're going to create a, actually let's do a polygon pipe. Just pull that up. And again, we're going to scale that down in a sec. Okay. We're going to go to our poly pipe attributes here. We're going to increase the uh, subdivision to 60. And we're going to tweak the height. We're going to put in 10 subdivisions. That will allow us to tweak it a little bit. So we're going to move to this view here. We're going to right click, go to vertex. And we're going to drag select all the vertices rows except the top and the bottom. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale that out just a little. Let's do these one by one. And actually, we'll take the middle two here. We don't necessarily have to follow that shape exactly. So just to, just uh, create it the way you like it. And I'll take the top row and the bottom row. And I'm going to bring them in. And let's stretch them out. Something like that. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, so that's our object here. Uh, let's do shift, right click and smooth. That's not bad. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that down quite a bit. And we're going to set it in the corner here somewhere. So move it over, move it in. Hit F to zoom in. We need to bring that down quite a bit. So it's sitting on a ground floor. And probably a bit closer to the wall, something like that. All right. So we got that. Uh, let's apply some Chrome to that. So right click, assign new material. Uh, MIA underscore X, material tab, presets, Chrome and replace. So we got that. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm not going to do all the books and the clock and all that stuff and the plant. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's going to take too long. What I can do though is create the, uh, the light here. So for that, we're going to start with the base and I will create a polygon, uh, cylinder for that. Pull it up just a little, go to our tab here. Increase that to 60 subdivisions and zero caps. Hit F to zoom in. We're going to right click on the top. Double click. I've still got my soft selection on. Hit B to get rid of that. Now I want my top edges, so I'm going to right click, go to edge, drag select that, and then drag select the ones in the middle to deselect them. So I've got my top there, edit mesh and bevel. There we go. Increase the segments, something like that. Right click, go to face, edit mesh, extrude, hit R to scale that in, W to pull that up a little, edit mesh, extrude, R to scale that in, edit mesh, extrude, W to pull that up, R to scale that in, something like that, and then edit mesh, extrude, hit W and pull that up, okay? Obviously it's way too big, we're going to tweak that in a sec, okay? Let's go with a, uh, a nice and shiny material. So we're going to apply a material to that. Right click, object mode. Let's try a smooth, see if that looks okay or not. Shift, right click, smooth. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're not going to see this top here because our shade's going to be around it. Let's see if this looks okay. We're going to go back one step, control Z. And we're going to go up here and we're going to insert, so edit mesh, insert edge loop up there, hit Q, right click, object mode, select our object, shift, right click, and smooth. That looks better. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to scale that down. So right click, object mode. There we go. Scale that down quite a bit starts to move that into position. Maybe we made it too small. We'll check that in a second. Hit F to zoom in. And we want this to be sitting here. So actually we need to scale it in just a bit more like that. So it's not sitting on our rug. We're going to go to our top here. And let's see how we're going to address that. We need to make our shade first so we have a sense of height. Okay. So for that, polygon pipe. Pull that up. Go to your attribute editor. We're going to decrease the thick, thick, not the thickness, the thickness to 0 0.2. We're going to increase the subdivisions to 60. And we're going to take the top edge, so right-click, Edge. 
uh, I'm sorry, no, right click vertex, I apologize, drag select the top there, scale that in until we got a lamp shade uh, shape, okay? Right click object mode, let's hit R and scale that thing in a bit, and let's get it on top of what we created. So that would be over there, let's hit F to zoom in. Let's get this thing nice and centered. And we need to bring that up, looks like. Yeah, let's check our height. We're going to pull that up to something like that. <coughs> let's see what we got. Okay, not too bad. We can move this back a little if we want. Not sure how that looks. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to move this into the corner here because I think it looks a bit small. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up a bit. First, I need to make sure that I'm on the ground plane. And there we go. Okay, uh, I got these two selected, so I'm going to go to Mesh and Combine. And let's hit R and scale this up a little bit. We're going to move it back in a sec. Go to Modify, Center Pivot, hit W. Okay, let's see if this looks okay or not. It's not bad. Let's see. All right. Okay, so let's apply some material to that. Right click, assign new material. We're going to go with a, um, a Fong E material. We're going to select black, like so. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're going to bring down the reflectivity to 0 0.2. Okay, so what have we got so far? Um, yeah, those are the most bits and bobs so far. And again, you can dress up the scene with, you know, whatever small stuff you want to add to it. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, extend this. So go to edge. I'm just going to pull that. No, not like that. Just want that edge. So why is that happening? Never mind. Right click vertex, take that one, that one, and that one. That's better. Okay. Which will allow us to get into our scene. Uh, I'm going to quickly create a ceiling. So, take a ground plane here. We're going to pull that up. Let's see where we're at. We're going to apply some material to that. Right click, object mode, assign new material, Lambert, and white. There we go. We're going to go to our top view. We're going to size it properly. So we're going to scale that in. Hit W. Hit insert to move our center pivot point to that wall, which will allow us to hit R. Scale that to about there. And we're going to hit insert again, move it to that corner, hit R again, and bring that in. We're pretty close. Okay, so this will be our uh, render shot, pretty much. Something like that. Okay, so we're going to go to 
view bookmarks edit books bookmarks we'll call this interior and apply and close so this will be saved out we're going to create some lights point light we're going to pull that up and we can get back to our bookmark any second so that's not a problem typically you would have a light somewhere around there there we go we're going to go into our light tab we're going to go to shadows use depth map shadows okay we are going to create uh, ambient light we're going to move that over here bring that into our scene like that and we're going to bring the intensity down to 0 0.1 and maybe we need one additional light so I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that pull it over here pull it down quite a bit and move it back there okay let's give this an initial run so I'm going to go to view bookmark interior that was our shot okay we're going to go to render settings now we use some mental ray material so we're going to select mental ray indirect lighting we're going to select global illumination uh, I'm not going to use an image based lighting this time around so that's good we're going to increase the quality to about 0. Point, uh, sorry 1.3 three in my common tab I'm going to increase the file size to HD 1080 like so uh, let's see that I have everything okay I'm going to give this a quick try okay hang on guys hopefully I didn't forget anything not sure how long this render is going to take and we'll give it a try Okay guys, well I'm not too happy with the lighting, so we're just going to tweak that a little bit. We're just checking our materials right now to see if they are okay or not. As you can see, there's not really a lot going on with the material of the couch, so we're going to tweak that a little bit as well. Uh, so let's fix that, okay? Just hit escape. First, we're going to select our couch and um, let's see we had a Lambert for that um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click assign new material we're gonna go with a Fong E material we're gonna change the color to black and that's gonna be very very shiny so we need to bring down the reflectivity to let's say 0 0.3 let's give that a try okay so that's that uh, we're going to go back to our render settings uh, and tweak that a little bit because i don't really feel that that looks too great um let's see what we can do there Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my lights. So I got that guy, not my ambient light, just my point lights. I got them set up for uh, depth map shadows right now. And I'm going to use ray trace shadows instead. Okay, I'm going to increase shadow rays to three, depth rays to six. I'm going to go to my render settings. I'm going to go into ray tracing in my quality tab. Make sure that's selected. 
and I'm going to increase these values, double them, 8 by 8 by 12, which looks good. And I'm going to try and see if there's an effect if I use some image-based lighting. So I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to go to my folder here. Um, I'm going to select an HRI file. Um, I got them here somewhere. There we go. And what I'll do is I will take a, um, let me see, what have I got? This is a pretty sunny environment, so I'll use that. We're not going to see that anyway, but it's just for the lighting. And what I'm going to do uh, is check if my ceiling is in sight or not. So if you bookmarks interior, uh, actually it is, so we can't get rid of that. So let's give it another try and see if this works out a bit better or not. Well, the lighting is already a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, there's too much reflectivity going on on the couch. So I'm just going to stop this, select my Fong material. There we go. And we're going to bring that down to 0 0.15. OK, and let's re-render that. See if that's an improvement or not. As you can see, it's a process of trial and error. Um, you could also uh, apply a different material to it, but this is a pretty modern uh, furniture setup. So yeah, it's still too much. OK, guys, the only thing we can do there is to do this. Right click, assign new material. Uh, we'll go with the Lambert. We're going to go back to our leather settings. So hit the checkered box, leather. And we're going to tweak this. So the cell color is black. That's OK. The crease color will go with gray. That doesn't look too bad. OK. That is not too bad. Let's see if that works out or not. Sometimes the uh, the cells of the leather, they're way too big and you have to tweak that, but we'll see. Actually, this is looking very nice. You can see that the couch uh, came alive somewhat. There's more structure to it and it's catching more light in a better way. Uh, still quite a lot of light going on, especially because this wall is all white. But we'll just uh, play it out and see how that uh, works out. Almost there. Just give it another sec. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to just uh, play on with the, uh, the lights uh, a bit more. Uh, and I'll keep the video rolling. So if you guys are interested, you can follow the rest of the tutorial. If not, this is pretty much what I was aiming for. So uh, I'm just going to play on with the light settings. Uh, if you guys are uh, leaving, thank you guys for watching. If you're not, just uh, hang on. OK, so I think the lighting is a bit too much. So we're going to tweak that a little. We can go back up. Uh, let's see. What do we got? OK, we're going to bring down this intensity to, let's say, 0 0.6. Okay, we'll try that and we'll do the same here. 
0 0.6 and what we can do is we're going to change this color here to a very 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 faint red not too much let's see when we start to see that we don't want it to look like an expensive room if you know what I mean okay view bookmarks interior let's give that another try let's hit render we'll do that again hit render I already see that it's not that blown out as it was. Uh, it had too much reflection from that wall. So by taking that down a notch, uh, the whole scene looks a little bit friendlier, if you know what I mean. And uh, that's somewhat of an improvement. Now I got some noise going on over here, especially with the, the frame and so forth. So I just need to adjust that and uh, maybe I can fix that by setting up ray tracing but uh, we'll just give it a sec Okay, that doesn't look too bad. So one more thing we can do is we're going to assign a light to this light here. Okay, so we're going to go up to create lights, point light, which gives us this. And we're going to set that inside our light, sh light shade. So hit F to zoom in. We're going to bring that over and put it in there, something like that. Let's check it from our height point of view. Okay, bring that down a little so it's inside. Cool. Now we need to select our light. There we go. Hit F. Okay, uh, we're going to go up to Mesh and Separate, which will allow us to take that shade, check out the material that we applied to it. <coughs> okay, and let's check the settings here for a second. Um, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to increase the transparency a little bit, something like that. Okay, we're going to select our light that we had inside here. So hit four will allow us to select that light. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the intensity down to 0 0.2. Uh, however, what we are going to do is we're going to go to uh ray trace shadows we've got those selected and uh, the other thing i wanted to do is uh where is it no not looking for that let's see let's see i want to use ray trace shadows yeah there we go okay so we're going to select emit photons. We're going to increase the intensity, adding one zero to that, adding one zero to that. We're going to go to our render settings. We're going to go to, uh, well, we don't really need caustics. We don't have any glass set up and so forth. I will, however, uh, set up the final gathering and uh, let's check our ray tracing settings yeah 
So where is my my photon? Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good. And that looks good. Okay, let's give this a try. Now this render could take a while, so uh, we'll just see how that plays out. Hit five for shaded mode. Okay, I'm gonna hit render. If it takes too long, I'll pause the video and I'll see you guys in a sec. Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, well, I broke off the uh, render because I still feel that there's too much reflection going on uh, with the white wall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that wall and that needs to be, let's see if I can separate that now. I'm going to right click at a face, select that wall, right click, assign new material, and we're going to bring that down a little bit. So I'm going to see if we can do something with that color. Yeah, let's give that a try. View, bookmarks, interior. Still want to bring down that light a little bit. So I got that point light selected. Just wondering why I can't access my settings. Well, there we go. Okay, we're going to go with 0 0.3. Now let's give it a try. View, bookmarks, interior, and hit render. I'll just uh, pause until it's done. Hi guys, I'm back. Well, as you can see, it's still rendering. Uh, it's already a totally different effect with this uh, color here. Kind of like that. And as you can see, this red here is way too bright. It looks like it's it's almost illuminating. You can see the, the nice effect of this uh, light with the photon emission here. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to take this wall and give it this color here, right? And then I'm going to tone down the light just a bit more. But uh, I think we're getting there, so hang on. Just gonna hit escape on this, okay? So for that, our color was Lambert 15, okay? So we're gonna go to face, we're gonna select that face, right click, assign existing material, Lambert 15, all right? Uh, let's see, this was our ambient light this guy there come on why is he not selecting object mode there we go all right so we need that guy to be over here and the reason for that is we've got some very hard shadows going on and that will kind of break that the shadows that you saw from this couch on the floor, they were a bit uh, harsh, okay? Now, we're gonna select this red color here. And I'm just gonna check that, okay? So what can we do with that? Just checking to see what we can do to tweak that. Not too much, I'm afraid. Uh, at least not something that I'm aware of, which is uh, kind of a point because obviously there are people out there that are way, way more skilled in this than I am. But I'm just doing my best here. Okay, we're going to go back to our uh, our bookmark. This should pretty much be the final render. So let's go. All right. Uh, render speed is not too bad. Uh, my main uh, goal here is to get rid of that whole blown out uh, situation, uh, which is mainly caused by a combination of light and the reflecting white walls. 
uh, this kind of creates a little bit more cozy feeling to it, if you want to call it that. And I'm not entirely unhappy with the uh, the color setup, so uh, I think it's not bad. Yeah, that's better. So as far as um, you know, creating uh, little attributes, uh, props like uh, books, plants, all that stuff. I got several videos out there that uh, cover those topics. Um, if, however, you get stuck with that, you don't know how to approach that, let me know and I'll be uh, happy to create a tutorial for you. Um, so that's that. Let's give it a couple of more seconds here. And what I personally like to do is uh, instead of modeling and then texturing and then lighting, I like to texture while lighting. So that gives me a sense of what it's going to look like. Um, this isn't too bad, actually. Uh, it could use uh, some more work, but I don't want this tutorial to go on forever. So it uh, looks like we're close to finished. Just give it a couple more seconds. I'll just uh, pause for a sec. Alright guys, this is the final render as far as I'm concerned. Uh, hopefully you learned something from this. Um, uh, if you've got any questions, again, let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always, and I'd love to see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.